Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to solve an important proof that question in trigonometry and we'll also learn a few tips while we solve this question. So the question is if sin theta plus 2 cos theta is equal to 1, we have to prove that 2 sin theta minus cos theta is equal to 2. So friends, the very first tip in these type of questions is always read the question very carefully two to three times and understand what they have given and what we have to prove okay now what they have given is sin theta plus 2 cos theta is equal to 1 that is what is given now what we have to prove is that 2 sin theta minus cos theta is equal to 2. So what we can observe is that sin theta and cos theta both are as it is in the given as well as prove that right the ratios has not changed only thing is the position of 2 has changed see here 2 is with cos theta here 2 is with sin theta okay also here you have 1 on the RHS here you have 2 on the RHS so always make these observations before just starting to write the answer okay now once that is done the next step is always start with what is given to us now what is given to us is this expression start with that expression let's see what happens so we have sine theta plus 2 cos theta equals to 1 okay we'll start with that now friends we have all these trigonometric ratios these identities and also algebra identities so the next step is making use of all these formula try to prove what is asked Okay, now what we have to prove also has sine theta and cos theta. So we don't want to change sine and cos. So will we use these formulae? No, because in these formulae, sine is getting changed into cosec, cos is getting changed into sec. We don't want that to happen. So which formula is better friends? Yes, I think sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. That we can definitely try. Now, what is the problem over here is there is no sine square and there is no cos square. So, in order to use identities, we always need to square. So, the next step is square on both the sides in order to use identities. Okay. So, let's use the identities by squaring on both the sides. So, remember, I am going to square this entire thing okay equal to 1 square it's not sine square theta plus 2 cos square theta no it's it is sine theta plus 2 cos theta the whole square okay now can you tell me which algebra identity this looks like yes a plus b the whole square so let's directly use that formula we'll get sine square theta plus 2 cos theta the whole square yes plus 2 times sine theta into 2 cos theta equals to 1 square is anyway going to be 1 right that's great now see we have got sine square we have got cos square also let me just um, write this as 4 cos square theta and this will be 2 into 2 which is 4 now sine theta cos theta I'm keeping it as it is because I really can't use any formula right now okay friends now because we have sine square and cos square let's use this identity now always have a look at what you want to prove okay friends that's the next step because if we keep on solving we will simply get lost so remember what we have to prove is this keep an eye on that so 2 sin theta so we want 2's position to change to sin theta so what we'll do friends is we will just write sin square as 1 minus cos square theta and we'll write cos square as 1 minus sin square theta so i am just exchanging the place of sin and cos let's see what happens so plus i'll write this as it is equal to 1 okay now uh, this i will keep it as it is now here i'll get 4 minus 4 sin square theta again make sure you are copying everything correctly okay now what do we do i can see a 1 and a 1 which gets cancelled that's right now there is a 4 over here and there are lot of variables so why not keep the 4 here friends and shift all the variables to the other side let's see what happens so we'll get cos square theta see the sign only changes okay 
Now, why are we doing this? Because have a look at what we have to prove. We have to prove 2 sin theta minus cos theta equals to 2. So, there is one number which is always on one side. That's why we are also slowly, slowly working towards this step. Okay. So, always see what you have to prove. Now, friends, have a look at this. Cos square theta plus 4 sin square theta and this term. What does this look like? Yes, which of these identities does it look like? Yes, now did you see 4 sin square theta I can always write as this and 4 sin theta small small trick friends we just have to keep observing see 4 I have written as 2 into 2 so which identity does it look like a minus b the whole square and what is that the same thing which we have here okay so I will write this is my, now remember, we want 2 sin theta first, right? So, we'll call this as a square and this as b square, okay? So, we'll get 2 sin theta, is it plus or minus? Minus, it's a minus b the whole square. I hope you got this. Now, just see friends how much progress we have made. We have almost got the expression 2 sin theta minus cos theta. The whole square is there. We just have to get rid of the square. And here you have a 4. So I can always write 4 as 2 square. And let me take square root on both the sides. So when I do that, I'll just take the square root here. So I'll get 2 sin theta minus cos theta the whole square. So of course, when I take the square root here, I'll get 2 and that's great. Did you see that? We have got what we wanted to prove. So, this is how step by step you need to solve this type of question. So, friends, I hope you found the video useful. If so, please do like and share. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments, your suggestions in the comment section below. So, till we meet again, take care.